Hello and welcome back, my beautiful Froggy Army, to another video. We are here at Happy Home Paradise with Sir Nico. Really, really working up a sweat over here. You, you go, Nico. You go. Today I had the craving to, like, exist in Happy Home Paradise, but not, like, actually do anything. I don't want to, like, actually decorate or, like, put in work or anything. Are you, are you kidding me? No, I'm on vacation right now. So instead, I thought it would be fun to reminisce and look at some of my old Happy Home Paradise homes and see how they are. We're gonna kind of like roast them a little bit, but if they're good, then I'll actually, you know, give myself some credit. So let's go ahead and get into it. Also, look who's on the island today, Miss Tia. I'm almost tempted to give her a little vacation home, but no, I, I actually don't feel like it today. Anyways, let's head on over to to somebody's house. I don't know who we're gonna choose first. Let's see. I have two switches and on this switch is where I've done the majority of vacation homes. This is where I actually have completed Happy Home Paradise. Actually, you know what? I think I completed it on both switches, but whatever. This is like my main one, you know. I guess let's go from bottom to top. Let's just look at Willow's house first. Some of these builds I did for challenges. Some of them I did on stream. Some of them, I don't know what I was doing. This yard out here, I probably just slapped some random stuff down because I wanted to give her something. You know, we could have added more. There's no custom designs. We could have added more, but that's probably because I did most of the decorating on the inside, so let's check that out. Okay, okay, this is cute. I cannot remember if this was part of a challenge or not. Why is there a random coffee cup on the floor? Okay, <laughs> we've got our little bed area. We've got our little wardrobe area. She's even got a little kitchen. Wow, love that for her. I would love some more things on the walls, but you know what? This is a solid... 5.5 .5 out of 10. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Oh, she just picked up the coffee from the floor. Willow, that was on the floor. She put it in her pocket. Is she... Are you okay? But yeah, this is pretty decent. This is like 0.5 above average. I didn't do anything phenomenal here. Um, there's a couple of mismatched furniture pieces, like this random purple one. But overall, you know, pretty cute. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next up is Miss Allie over here with her little mushroom forest. I have a feeling that I only decorated the outside of this one by the looks of it. So let's go take a look. Oh, I forgot that some of these custom designs are going to be messed up because I've been replacing them. <laughs> well, okay, if we're ignoring that, that. Um, this is pretty cute. This is this is pretty good, you know? I like all of the, the mushroom uh, parasol thingies around. I like this little arch back here. That's pretty good. Okay, Allie. Okay. Let's go see if I put anything on the inside. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, this is coming back to me now. All right. This is pretty cute. We've got the bed. We've got the cute little lamp. We've got lots of plants and pictures. Our little dining table, a little lounge reading area. I really like this. I feel like this is very, very, what's the word? Very like quaint. Very quaint is what I'm looking for. It kind of feels like Miss Allie here has thrifted a lot of these picture frames and decorations and some things don't really match and it's kind of a little bit cluttered. There's some leaves in here. Maybe you need to sweep Miss Girl, just a suggestion. But I really like this and I love that, you know, she's still a modern girly. She's still got her TV. She's got to watch The Office back to back, you know, every, every couple months. So I'm going to consider the inside side and the outside when rating this one. Ali, can you stop please? I'm trying to rate your house please. But taking into consideration the outside and the inside, the outside is really cute, really solid. I would give that like a six. I feel like it could be a little more interesting, but it's pretty decent. And then in here is really, really cute. So I think it bumps it up to, mm, I'm going to say a seven. 7.5 yeah i'm gonna go 7.5 i just really love the vibes in here it's very warm very cozy very homey ali if you do not stop playing with this balloon i swear i am bulldozing your house anyways let's move on next up we've got billy's little house here with a place for pottery let's go see how he's living let's go crash into his house oh my goodness billy's little top hat is so cute <laughs> i love that oh Oh, what's going on over there? Well, that's a choice. That's definitely a choice. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> but okay, the outside is pretty cute. I love Billy's house. This little like log cabin vibes. Very cute. This vase feels a little out of place, I'll be honest. It's like we've got some rustic wood and like a little like fire uh, pizza cooker over here and like 
just a bunch of weeds. It's a little overgrown. It's a little rustic. It's giving log cabin in the woods. And then we've got like a fancy vase, you know, like I like the path. I like the overgrown weeds, although I could have used some more items. The bathroom on the rock is definitely a choice, like I said, but let's check the inside. Ooh, look at this. I love it in here. All right, we've got a lot to look at. We've got this little tool section. He's got a little plant. We've got this little pottery section where he's working on the table. He's got his little coffee. Hopefully he doesn't get that mixed up with the bucket of water that's over there. He's got a little cleanup area, um, a little oven to fire everything, a little workstation over here, some of his completed works. Ooh, wow, he made that. Oh, that's why there was a, that's why there was the thing outside because he made it. Okay, okay, you know what? I take it back, I take it back. <laughs> but I still hold up my comment about the toilet on the rock. That was just weird. This is really, really cute. I really love this room. It's very tiny and it definitely feels like a little log cabin where he comes to just get away from things and do some pottery and you know, all that kind of good stuff. But I feel like all the items in here were like very intentional and it feels like there's no wasted space. Maybe this over here, I don't, I don't know why there's the hay bed. <laughs> Maybe this is where he sleeps or this is like his snack because he is a goat. Who knows? But again, everything feels very intentional in here and I love just like the layout of everything. I even love this little like rug underneath of the table and just it all fits perfectly. It all works perfectly together. I really, really love this. The outside's a little bit questionable, <laughs> but I think I'm going to give this one a solid nine. It would be a 10, but the outside bathroom is just... Uh... I can't. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really love this. I don't think there's very many things I would change in here if I were to like even attempt to redo it. Billy, you lucked out. You've got an amazing vacation home. Enjoy it, good sir. Um, please make me something. Please make me a little a little mug or something. I'd appreciate it. Okay, thanks. Bye. Next up, we've got Bestie Vesta and her little home with a fireplace. Let's go take a look. Okay, yes, I remember doing this yard. Again, ignore the custom design. <laughs> that is so unfortunate. I'm pretty sure this was like a little rock. You know what? This is all right. This is pretty cute out here. Pretty simple. I like our little soup pot. Vesta, you got some little soupy soup out here. Not too bad. Let's go check the inside. Oh, this one is so cute. <gasps> this is so, so cute. Okay, Vesta. I think I was going for very much like grandma vibes in here and it definitely shows we've got our little kitchen here it's so compact and cozy we've got cookies and muffins and a fresh pie baking we've got her little sewing area look at that she's got her little sewing book and sewing machine and even a little plushie she just finished making that is so cute through here she's got that old retro tv some books and a nice little couch and a cute little fireplace to be warm in this winter time by this is so cute. I especially love the kitchen. I like how I fit four distinct little areas in here. Very, very cute. And I especially love the sewing area and like all the stuff on the walls. I really, really enjoy this one. Vesta's house is so cute. And look at her sitting on the couch. What are we watching? What are we watching? Do you mind turning down the volume? It's a little loud for me. Okay, thank you. I think I'm also going to give this one a solid 9 out of 10. Again, the outside is like kind of just whatever. I wish I had done more with it, but the inside is so, so good. I absolutely love it. Next up, we have Miss Maggie. I think I remember this being pretty recent in my Happy Home Paradise career here, so I feel like I'll remember this one pretty well. Let's go see. Oh my goodness. This is a truly adorable, adorable outdoor yard. Oh my goodness, finally I put some soul into it here. <laughs> the other ones, you know, didn't have too much going on. When I say I want some stuff going on, this is what I mean. This is so, so cute. We've got the little gazebo. We've got a little chair to sit in. Again, some of these custom designs are messed up, but just ignore that. We've got little decorations. We've got rocks. I love that you walk under this gazebo also to walk to the house. I love it so much. Okay, I want to see the inside now. Let's go. Oh my goodness, this is so precious oh oh maggie oh sorry i didn't know you needed to take a snooze right now i'm so sorry i love this checkout area look at this little bag with the flowers on it 
obsessed, obsessed. And putting the little like flower display in the back, very smart, very smart. We've got like a little flower prep slash watering station. That's really cute. And then plenty of flowers for you to look at over here. I love it. We've even got some stuff on the walls, a few plants hanging. I feel like I could have maybe crammed in a few more things. This big empty space feels quite big and empty but i understand this is supposed to be like a store so maybe that makes a little bit of sense the outside is what really really does it for me i love the outside so much you know what let's go back out there to do our final ranking i'm also gonna go with a solid nine for this one i love it i love it my only one point deduction is i would try to fit in a few more custom designs out here and maybe a few more items on the inside but otherwise love this so cute keep it up maggie okay i gotta go bye next up we've got miss timbra with her star filled sanctuary and look at this i did this in 2021 what is time what is time all right we're here at timbra's house and i can't remember if this one was also part of a challenge or not this is pretty cute out here i like this little stargazing area really really adorable very cute she's got a little lounge area i could have used maybe a customized house maybe a few items over here by the front but you know that's okay that's okay let's go see what i did inside Ooh, okay i love these celestial vibes in here now we've got a pretty simple setup this is just her little simple bedroom and we don't have too much going on she's got a little armoire she's got a little dresser another stargazing area, a mirror, and her bed, and that's pretty much it. I mean, Timbra, this is great. This is a vibe in here. I would chill in here all day all day i like the little rugs that are on the floor great use of those you know very very cute fitting with the theme i i feel like i could have done a little bit more both on the inside and the outside but this is all still really cute again we're going to consider the outside and the inside i think i'm gonna go maybe a six maybe a six you know it's, it's all pretty solid it's pretty solid i like the theming in here a lot which gives it an extra point up from a five out of ten i mean a six is still pretty good so you know still solid thank you for letting us visit timber i'm gonna i'm gonna get out of your hair now next up is bianca's house and i vividly remember this one being part of a challenge i did a one minute versus 10 minutes versus one hour vacation home challenge and this was the one minute one so i know this is gonna be rough hmm. i remember it being pretty barren like this yeah, yeah, yeah. I know for a fact the inside is empty, so we don't even need to bother going and checking. Um, you know, it's hard to rate this one because it was part of a challenge. I only had a minute to do the outside, so it's it's hard. It's hard because I know that this is not my best work at all, but at the same time, you know, it was for a challenge. So I feel like I could have done more. You know, I'm going to rate this one pretty low. It, this one's a 4 out of 10, you know, like it works. There's some stuff going on. I like this little entryway. But that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. Bianca, you know, um, I'm sorry. I'm I'm really sorry. Next up is Cashmere. And again, this was part of that one minute versus 10 minute versus hour vacation home challenge. This being the 10 minute one. So let's go ahead and give this one a look. Okay, okay. You know, this is this is cute. I like this. All right. I like these little chippies over here on the sand. Mmm, nice sandy chips. All right. You know, this is this is something we had 10 minutes to work with. Obviously, I put those 10 minutes to good use. Pretty cute. Okay, let's check the inside. I think I did get to decorate the inside. Okay. I love the fan clipping into the couch. Oh. Okay, cashmere. You know, okay. This feels kind of like a liminal space to be honest. But okay, um, we got stuff in here. I think that's the important part. We we did it. We did it, Mr. Krabs. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna give this one... I want to give it a 4.5, but this is definitely much better than the last one, which we gave a 4. So I think we're gonna do 5. We're gonna do 5. Again, considering that it was a challenge and I only had 10 minutes, it's it's a it's a five it's a five nico get me out of here i'm scared of the inside of that house next we have a good old marcy's house and this is the final vacation home that was part of that timed challenge this is the one hour one so let's see how this compares to the others okay so this is marcy's little daycare cute cute okay we've got some stuff going on over here look at that a little playground we've even got some puddles and uh cute little seashells and I love this like 
area in the background. We've got like a little park back there. Very cute. Um, these custom designs are definitely messed up, so ignore that. But Marcy, you're doing fantastic, sweetie. You're doing fantastic. This is really cute. Okay, but I want to see the inside. I vaguely remember how this looks, and I'm very excited. Oh, yes, I remember. This is the sweetest little vacation home ever. Oh my goodness, I love it. Her daycare is so colorful, so precious. I absolutely love it. I love the use of this rug right here. Like this little like turned up corner, so perfect for a daycare. But I love it. There's all the toys everywhere. There's so much brightness and color. We've got the little cribs back here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and potentially maybe give our first 10 out of 10 rating for the video. Ah, I just love this one so much. I, I really do. We've even got the little high chairs set up in the corner. They're all lined up nicely. I love that. Why didn't I put one more right here? One more would have fit perfectly, but oh well. I love it so much. Yeah, this is going to be our first 10 out of 10. I just obsessed. Obsessed. I think we're going to end on a high note and I'm going to go ahead and be done for today. That was only a small portion of all of my Happy Home Paradise builds, but for the sake of this video not being too, too long, we're going to go ahead and end it there. If you want to see me rate more of them, if you want to see me rate my facilities, let me know down below in the comments. Like this video so I know that you want to see more. I'd love to do maybe multiple parts to this that'd be great but thank you so so much for watching i very much appreciate it if you'd like to support me in any way feel free to check out my cameo request a custom video from yours truly follow me on social media check out my merch maybe get a t-shirt or something if you feel like it but with that thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one